Hey everybody, today's gonna be a slightly strange video. I wanna talk about why maybe you shouldn't be a game developer and why if you're into programming and software development, perhaps enterprise stuff is a better option. Now this came to me because of a comment earlier on a video that I did a couple years ago about whether you should learn to design or code and Idle Observer said, I don't know if you have any experience in other software development areas, but game programming isn't that hard. Also changing the area is not as simple as it looks. I had four, four years of experience in C Sharp and Unity and decided to work in web dev started to learn backend and it took a year to get my first job even though I worked as a game developer. So they, they try to get into web development after doing four years of Unity stuff. And they said currently they're working as a .NET developer for more than a year, but it's still quite complicated. I assume that most people think web developers only write endpoints and CRUD operations. And I was thinking the same until I started to write nested queries. Now, when I read that, I was a little bit surprised because with four years of experience doing game stuff, you would think that doing enterprise is pretty simple, that it's pretty straightforward. And in my experience, that's the case, but that's because I started in enterprise stuff. I started building enterprise apps at uh, Intel, Qualcomm, and a couple other smaller places before I got, well, kind of in between, but before I got into doing professional game development. So I've gone back and forth between the two of them. And while it is true that in enterprise stuff, um, you're not always just doing simple CRUD operations and simple applications, what I found is that the majority of the time, probably like, I don't know, 60, 70% of the time at least, the applications that you're building in enterprise are to get a job done. There's a specific job that needs to get done. Um, how it's done isn't always necessarily the most important part, just that the end result happens, whether that's somebody is able to buy and pay for some service, somebody's able to order something or maybe watch a streaming video or they're able to change some data in it, which is usually what's ended up happening, change some data in a database that's getting sent off and deal dealt with somewhere else in the company, a any of that kind of stuff, most of the time those applications are easier. There are outliers. There are some definitely out cases where thing is, things are very difficult. I put up a poll on YouTube just to check earlier. By the way, if you haven't voted in the poll, go. I'll put the link down there. Go just check it out on the community page and vote. Um, see which one, you, tell me which one you think is harder because I saw that most people, of course, my audience is all game developers. They agreed that games are harder, and that's because I think most of those applications are easy. Some applications, however, are very difficult and very complicated. There was a great comment in here by um, uh, Yusuf who mentioned that you know, building something for the Mars rover definitely more difficult than building a 2D side-scrolling platformer. In fact, I would say that writing code for something like a Mars rover or a um, Netflix, like not all of, Net I'm sure Netflix has some some bad stuff internally too, but they probably have some really complicated advanced stuff for the actual streaming, getting the video out to the clients and all that stuff. Who knows what their billing stuff was like, you know, that's that's kind of the the other side, you know, like their internal systems for, you know, other departments and things. But when, you, when you're working at a big place like that, you can have some complicated, big, hard problems. But most of the time, what I found is the problems are simple and day to day, um, when you go home from an enterprise job, one of the reasons that I think it's a good option, you're not going to be thinking about it too much. At least most enterprise developers I know don't think about it too much. I know a couple who go home and they're like constantly spinning, thinking about you know how to optimize some query or what the next thing is, or maybe what the next three to six months look like in the job. But most enterprise developers I know are able to go home and you know, they'll go watch football or do something else totally unrelated to work and not think so much about work at all. What I found with game developers, though, is that they just kind of like never stop thinking about it. They're, they're always kind of on and always thinking about um, what they're going to do, how they're going to optimize things, what they're going to change, and how to fix problems. Now, I, I feel like I'm kind of rambling here, but the core of that is that if you want a job that I think is a little bit more relaxing, pays better, is easier to get, and you don't have to think about it all the time, and enterprise jobs 
mostly for you. Again, there are definitely outliers. You want to get into um, any of the, the top places doing some of the biggest stuff that's streamed out to millions or anything where they've got, you know, they're, they're measuring their users in the multiple millions, the tens of millions, things get more complicated. But most enterprise jobs, most uh, small business and company, corporate jobs where you're building software stuff, you're going to be building simple things. You're going to be solving easy problems. And if something goes wrong, it's probably not a big deal. If it, something goes wrong in a game, it's almost never a big deal, which is w one of the nice things. But you're going to be solving painful problems most of the time. Now, let's talk about games because I feel like um, when you get into game development, there are extremes as well. I say that game development is more difficult than enterprise stuff for most things, but there are some scenarios where game development is super easy. If you're building a, a small startup company that's building a small game that's relatively simple, not complicated, not multiplayer, not online, relatively simple and straightforward, not, not too complicated. Even a medium-sized game with a decent team is it's going to be more complicated than most enterprise apps, but not that complicated. When you get to like a AAA project, though, or an MMO, something that's really huge, that's when you get to the point where like you've blown away nine out of 10 of the enterprise applications in complexity. You know, there, again, there's still going to be the, the Googles and Netflixes and Facebooks and all that that have tons and tons of stuff going on. But when it comes to a game, you generally have more stuff going on than most applications. You have way too many moving components and things that you have to think about constantly. You also have to be cognizant of all of the different platforms, the devices people are playing on, the performance characteristics of those. Once you've got your game completely working, then suddenly you have to go back and make it work again for all of the devices that it doesn't actually work right on or where they're getting one frame a second. There are lots of problems that you run into with games and um, they're not forgiving. If you launch with a game that has terrible, terrible performance and all kinds of problems, and you're probably not, you're not very likely to make a, a bunch of patches and have a successful like revival of your game. Unlike an enterprise app where you can launch something out, put it in like this early access simple mode that people can screw around with, and then grow over time as you get better. Games are kind of, for the most part, the opposite. You have a bad initial launch and you're probably pretty screwed. So enterprise stuff, I feel like it's it's safer there. It's easier. It's definitely easier to get into, especially with the market now. You're just going to miss out on the fun. So if you're okay with the with missing out on the fun, enterprise stuff is uh, great. Um, and you can still use your Unity and C Sharp skills for that. You can get all kinds of different jobs building out enterprise applications that need good visualization, especially if you look into um, augmented reality and virtual reality stuff. There's tons of enterprise opportunities out there that pay really well, and they're specifically looking for your 3D skill set. I think with the new Apple headsets coming out and the way that uh, the Quest stuff is going with the pass-through, that that's a big market that's coming. And there's a lot of other opportunity to use your 3D skills in enterprise development take what you already know and then get a job. Now, if you go straight into web development, like um, the other guy did, it, it's definitely a bigger transition. You're going to have to spend at least probably a year understanding all of the fundamentals, web requests, dealing with transmission of data back and forth, databases, caching layers, and all that kind of stuff. But if you just want to build applications, then um, yeah, you can still do that in your 3D tools and stuff. Anyway, I'm curious what everybody else thinks. Again, this was a bit of a strange video. If you um, think one is better than the other, let me know in the comment or if you have thoughts or you think I'm just completely crazy, drop it down in the comments. And also go vote on the poll. I think it's 80% at game development. I think it'll probably be even higher than that as the harder one, but I'm curious to see if maybe a bunch of enterprise developers come in and be like, nope, nope, nope. It's all enterprise stuff that's hard. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.